a good friend of mine, Ivan Reitman, yeah. died in his sleep last night, a month ago. I was sitting at my desk and I said, geez, I haven't spoken with Ivan Reitman in a really long time. And it feels weird because we got very close during the making of Private Parts. He's always been a uh, mentor to me. He's always been a terrific guy to me. He's a huge fan of the show. We used to listen every day. And I remember years and years ago before we made the film Private Parts, I was always impressed that Ivan Reitman, the great film director, the guy who made Ghostbusters, $300 million gross, but a funny film, forget that. Uh, the guy who made Animal House, the guy who made um, Stripes, Meatballs, Stripes, meatballs. Dave, uh, you name it. This guy who made all these funny films is a fan of mine. It, it just tickled me, you know, because I'm such an admirer of his movies. I picked up the phone a month ago and I called Ivan. And he was so happy to hear from me. Oh. And um, he sounded great. When we spoke, we had just the best time talking on the phone. It was a big love fest. Love you. Love this one. Love that one. I felt so good about touching base with Ivan because I never want to be out of touch with the guy because I'll tell you why. This guy saved my life. I felt such pressure to get that film Private Parts done. And here was my pressure. 21 different opportunities were taken to come up with the script and we couldn't do it. I wrote one of the scripts with another guy one time. It was all based on my father and our relationship and our blah, 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 blah. It was a piece of shit. And I wrote it. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 I was racking my brain trying to figure it out. And so many talented people and the movie studio who was putting up money for all these drafts was saying, you know, they bought the, the book, Private Parts, and they wanted the movie rights. And they go, listen, man, come on already. You got to make the movie. It was Reicher Entertainment. They wanted a hit movie, and they were, like, pressuring me. You know, come on. One of these scripts isn't good enough for you. What is with you? And my agent, Don Buckle, was like, Howard's not happy with the script. And, and, my, and my agent got me script approval. Thank God, because they would have made any one of these shitty scripts. And then at some point, they were threatening me. We're going to get Jeff Goldblum to uh, play you, and you won't even be Howard Stern. And I said, you got to be kidding me. I said, I'd like to see that movie. Jeff Goldblum plays <laughs> Howard Stern. Yeah, just don't use the name Howard Stern. My agent, Don Buckwald, was walking around L.A. He was going to pick up some kind of deli sandwich, I think it was. It's a famous place in L.A. where people go to eat deli. And Don walks, he sees Ivan on the street. And Don, being the kind of guy he is, this is why he's a super agent, let me go over and talk to this Ivan right Say hello. The next thing I knew, Ivan was on the phone with me. And he said, listen, I read your book. I got the whole movie. He goes, this is, the, this is what should happen. He started explaining to me on the phone the movie, the way he kind of saw a big picture of it. I said, Jesus Christ, you're right. It's simple. That's it. I go, Ivan, oh, God, I wish you were involved. All right. They got on the phone with Reicher, blah, blah, blah. They made Ivan the executive producer. He got a, you know, they wet his beak. You understand, Robin? <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. Listen, Ivan ain't working for free. Just to get him to be interested was a miracle. I was like, how could I miss now with this movie? I got the greatest filmmaker, Ivan Reitman, involved. I'm going to be the fucking man here. Well, Ivan said, you prepared to work? I go, yeah, what are we doing? He says, I know a guy I think would be great to write this thing. His name's Lenny Bloom out of Canada. Uh, I say, oh, okay. He says, he's going to write it, and here's how we're going to do it. You guys get together. I want you to do a deep dive. Go through everything. And I would sit there with Lenny. I'd tell him about my best bits, what I was thinking during them, blah, 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 blah. We met for, I don't know, a couple of months or maybe. I don't know. I don't even remember. Lenny was out of my house. We were writing together. I even said, Lenny's going to go back and write. And uh, he'll, he'll send me pages every couple of days, and I'll edit them. And sure enough, Ivan went off with Lenny. Lenny sent the pages. I talked to Lenny. Boom. Got a script back that what my, my agent called me. He goes, we finally got a script. Let's, let's uh, green light this fucker. I was like, oh, my God. It's such a beautiful script. I couldn't wait to film it. Ivan orchestrated that movie and got everyone on board. And he watched every fucking daily.
which is the, yeah, I'm in show business for you kids out there who don't know what I'm talking about. Every day you shoot and then they send all the shit off to Ivan so he could see what's happening. Even the first couple of days on the set, your man here hadn't uh, acted before. He's having a couple of rough days. Ivan smacked me around. <laughs> he literally like kind of fucking brought me into room goes, what the fuck are you doing? I go, I don't know what I'm doing. He goes, you're playing yourself. And, you, and you're ad-libbing on the set. You got lines and other actors have to know when to come in. I go, they do? Can't they read my mind? I'm de- he goes, listen, go up to your room and learn your lines and come down here. Can act like a man. So uh, he, he smacked me around. I came down. I started doing some acting, some damn good acting. I got robbed at the Academy. <laughs> I knew Ivan liked the finished product when he said, uh, damn, I should have directed this movie. He was jealous a little he bit. Said and, that. He even, and he said to me, I'm putting my name on this movie. Ivan was on our show a couple of times, you know, had him in. Always fun to talk to him about all his movies. And the people Some of he those, knew. Yeah. Yeah, he knew everyone. And he worked with everyone. And real classy guy. Sweetheart um, of a guy. Ivan, uh, rest in peace. It sucks. I'm very sad to hear that he's gone. 75 years old. And I know to some people that sounds old, but for me, it sounds way too young. So I'm bummed out. Because, uh, first of all, friends are hard to come by when you're me. Number two, especially friends who made a great movie with you. And I'm just sad because the guy had so much talent. 